afternoon, gentlemen. Good afternoon, Mr. Brock. Squeeze it down completely. Closed. Okay. Thank you. Just put it down. Okay. Sketching linear graphs. Why are we sketching now? Why aren't we plotting? We talked about it last lesson. Okay, we've forgotten it. Is this a relationship? Yeah. Yes. So x and y are connected with the rule. What's the highest power of x? Is this a linear relationship then? So do you need to plot like four or five different points to see if it's a linear relationship or you are satisfied that it is going to be a straight line? Okay, good. I'm satisfied. So now that you know it's going to be a straight line, if you know two points through which the line passes, is there, if I give you two fixed points, how many straight lines can you draw through them? One. So that means all we need is two points, don't we? We don't need to complete a table of values, do we? Because we know it is going to be a straight line. Thank you. All we need is two points. Now those points have to be the most important points because every time from now on until the rest of your life, when you ever sketch a graph, you must label the x and y intercepts. So what should be our two points? x and y intercepts. That's it. So we're not just choosing any two points, we're choosing x and y intercepts. And we're not worried about any other point on the graph, and that's why we are labeling it as a sketch. So let's see what that means. So, we did the table of values before, right? But now we don't need a random set of values, we need two points. When we find the x-intercept, what's the value? So if a line's cutting the x-axis, let's say at 0.5, what would be the y coordinate? Zero. zero. That means to find the x intercept, you put y equals zero. And let's say a line cuts the y axis at two, won't the x coordinate be zero? Yes. So to find the y intercept, x is zero. So all you have to do is sub in y equals zero and sub in x equals zero. And you will get two intercepts. Does that make some sense? Now, what we actually do is so defining the x intercept. Am I invisible? Yes. Finding the y-intercept. Okay? So to find the x-intercept, you write sub y equals 0. Copy the equation first. So 2x plus 4y equals 10. In this equation, wherever you see y, you replace it with 0. zero. Let's do that. So 2x plus 4y means 4 times y. So 4 times 0. What's 4 times 0? 0. zero. Can I divide both sides by 2? Yes. x will be equal to 5. That means your x intercept is 5. Let me write in a different color. Okay, you don't even have to draw the table. I'm just drawing it so it makes sense that we're not doing something different. We're just using two points. Now, to find the y-intercept, we write sub x equals 0. Again, copy the equation. Wherever you see x in that equation, you replace it by 0. So 2x means 2 times x, that is 2 times 0. So 4y equals 10. Now, dividing both sides by 4. What do I get? y equals 10 over 4. Do we give decimals? No, because I'm highly allergic to anti. So what will I do? Simplify the fraction. Can they both be divisible by 2? 10 divided by 2 is 5. 4 divided by 2 is 2. So y equals 5 on 2. Now, where do I put 5 on 2 on the graph? Doesn't matter, because all you have to do is Mark these two points, nothing else on the graph. So, draw the axis. Label x, y, origin. What's the x intercept? 5. So, roughly, it makes the x axis at 5. Is it positive? And what's 5 on 2 is equal to? Isn't it roughly 2.5? Just mark it anyway that you think looks like 2.5. I'm going to mark this. And mark that. So x intercept is 5. It's a sin to just write 5 here. We write coordinates. So 5 is the x coordinate. What's the y coordinate? 0. zero. 5, comma 0. 
And what are the coordinates of this point? 0, 512. That's it. You don't need to write anything here. You don't need to write oh, any markings here. All you show on your graph is two important points, x and y intercepts. Can we do it? Great. Let's move on to the next one. Question? Now, do I need a table? Question? Okay. Just write x intercept. How do we find the x intercept? We sub? What zero? Y equals zero. Copy the equation as it is. In this equation, wherever you see y, you replace it with zero. So 3x plus zero equals two. Or 3x equals 2, so x will be equal to? 2. 2 thirds. Do I convert it into a decimal? No. That's a sin. Now, let's find the y intercept. What do I sub x equal to? 0. Zero. So in that equation, so copy the equation first. Y equals 2. 3 times 0 plus y equals 2. That gives me y equals 2. You don't even need a table. Just do that. X is 2 thirds and Y is 2. So X is 2 thirds comma 0 and Y is 0 comma 2. That's it. It should roughly be where 2 should be. Right? Don't need to put in any other values and you've sketched a linear equation using X and Y intercepts. Now the method that I taught you last lesson using gradient and y-intercept, you only use that method if it specifically asks you. So if in the exam or the test, the question says sketch using the gradient and intercept method, that's when you sketch using that method. Otherwise, follow this method because you must label the x and y-intercepts for any graph you draw. So this is quicker. You then don't have to find the x and y-intercepts because that's all you found anyways. So this is the preferred method. When do we use the other method? If the question asks for it. Any questions? That's it. We finished three. Whichever exercise it is.